Climate change is bad for our health. Record heat, flooding, hurricanes, and windstorms are now regular features of our lives. We saw it recently when a small grass fire, fueled by 100 mile an hour winds, ripped through Boulder County, resulting in the most destructive wildfire in Colorado history. This is the new normal, one that impacts all of us, especially disadvantaged populations. We have reached an inflection point. We need a new specialist, a new kind of clinician who can synthesize traditional medicine with these emerging threats. We need climate doctors. I'm a climate doctor, one of the first in the nation. So what does a climate doctor do? Climate doctors are leaders in climate and health. They understand how to synthesize earth science with the roots of social vulnerability. They also understand energy policy and how to make our health systems more sustainable and resilient. Here at the University of Colorado School of Medicine, we've started the nation's first climate and health program, and we are training the first generation of climate doctors. In fact, we coined the term climate doctor and climate medicine. We think about climate change and its impact on human health. Until now, most of the response to climate change has come from the field of public health. As clinicians, we're not making health policy for thousands of people, we're taking care of individual patients, and we need a seat at the table. We want to be the home of climate medicine. We want to build a patient-centric program around climate and health. We want to reduce the carbon footprint of American healthcare which now equals 8.5% of the nation's carbon emissions. It won't be easy. Nothing worthwhile ever is. We are asking clinicians to dive into the world of public health, energy policy, geopolitics, earth science, government, and medicine, and then make sense of it all. Climate doctors can be trusted resources in advocating for climate resilient policies, addressing deeply rooted environmental justice issues, and effectively leading healthcare systems to decarbonize. Right now, no clinician has been trained to do any of this, but climate change isn't something down the road. It's upon us. In every aspect of society, climate mitigation plans are being implemented. They will all need medical expertise to account for the health impacts of those policies. That's where we come in. We hope the concept of climate medicine in our new training programs will elevate the voices of our clinicians with patient-centric climate policies for the unprecedented challenges to come.